Hello everyone, my name is Robert Barrow. I'm the MEC President here at Envoy Air. I'm also the Chair of the Negotiations Committee. So you just finished listening to a video from Shane Spielman on options one and two. Shane is one of our committee members from the negotiations team as well as the Council 51 President for Chicago and Miami. So I'm going to be discussing what's before us in option number three. So with option number three, what we would be doing is putting together the entirety of the TEAs that we've reached as well as provisions from the other sections that we've already opened with the company. In total, we've opened 22 sections of our contract, and like I said before, we have nine tentative agreements. And so we would be adding to that a downline compensation package. Normally, contracts that we negotiate are four years in duration. So with option number three, this would probably be the case. And in order for us to attain this option, what we would be doing is giving the company one year of no significant increases and so what we would be doing is negotiating a downline compensation package. And what this does is gives a company a no increase in the first year of the contract. And then at year one of the contract, we would then see our first increase. And then subsequent each year after that on the contractual anniversary date, we would then receive a raise. Many of you have been focused on what PSA achieved in their last contract prior to the pandemic. This is also a focus for us in these negotiations. And we wanna make sure that when we do get our first raise at the one year mark of the new contract, that we are either meeting or exceeding that compensation.